What's going on? Little Dap, it's Jared Muntz, former pro and founder of OnlineSoccerAcademy.com. You are watching interview highlights of Mike Fusito on my Jared Muntz Soccer Podcast. Mike is a Harvard-educated pro soccer player for the Seattle Sounders. He regularly plays in front of 35,000-plus fans. Listen to the full interview at OnlineSoccerAcademy.com or in iTunes by searching Jared Muntz Soccer Podcast. Enjoy. Well, I couldn't find out who was the man of the match of that night, but in my opinion, you were one of the top players on the field. So, how, how did it feel being subbed off towards the end of the game to a standing ovation in front of 35,000 fans? And what was going through your mind when you gave everybody a round of applause thanking them? Um, I kind of got goosebumps. I mean, it, it's a little bit like, you know, you kind of black out a little bit because it's, it's pretty exciting, it's pretty loud, and... Uh, you know, at that point, I was pretty tired. <laughs> um, felt like I ran a lot, got a little beat up that game. So, um, you know, I just remember having a, just a huge appreciation, as I always do, for our fans because I think they're they're unbelievable. And you know, half my energy came from from them that game. So, you know, I owe a lot of my performance to them and just feeding off them. Um, you know, and then I just remember coming off and telling Roger, you know, finish the job and just make sure that, you know, we, we finish the game out, so. Mm -hmm. Well, having 35,000 fans give you some energy, I'm sure, is a nice boost. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a, it's a nice little boost, so. <laughs> yeah, That's awesome. Uh, well, before before your Harvard years, um, you were a standout high school soccer player, and your forward strike partner was a little-known player named Charlie Davies. Uh, what was it like playing with yeah. him? What was it like playing... What was it like playing with him in high school, and did you two train all the time, and did you both know you'd be pros back then? Um, so we actually played, I think, we played club before high school, and he's actually the reason um, why I ended up going to that high school. Um, so I remember going and getting dropped off at his house when I was little, and, you know, his dad would bring us out to the field near his house and just work on, you know, dribbling and all, all different kinds of stuff. Um, and so it's been it's been pretty cool. Uh, you know, in high school, you don't really know. We both wanted to be pro. Um, I think I was pretty certain that it was going to happen for him just because he's so incredibly talented. Um, but it was just so much fun, you know, playing next to him and all of our success. And then just to see us, you know, we went our kind of separate ways, going to different schools. And um, But the D.C. game was, was pretty cool because that was the first time we were back on the field together since. Uh, we won our New England championship in high school, so, you know, just to see everything that he's done and, you know, I was able to, to make it myself, it was uh, it was really cool to see that, and I think, uh, you know, it's only going to get better for both of us from here, so. YouTuber My Chemical Romance GRR is an online soccer academy player of mine and a big Sounders fan. Uh, she asks, what's the coolest part of playing pro soccer for the Sounders? Oh, man, I think walking out, um, every time into Quest Field. I mean, you know, the Open Cup is a perfect example that we just have, without a doubt, the best fans. Um, and we are so lucky to play here. And, you know, just looking up. And I, I, I think the coolest part is being 10 yards from your teammate on the field and you're trying to scream to him and he can't hear you because the fans are so loud. And I just think that's the coolest thing. That's incredible. Uh... All right, awesome. Um, well, I got my own uh, user submitted question, and this is just on behalf of my online soccer academy dot com players and youth players in general. What advice do you have for young players that are trying to live the dream of playing pro soccer? Um, just don't stop working. You know, I mean, for me, it was never certain that I was going to play pro soccer, and you know, you just can't let what other people say about you discourage you. You know, you're too short. You're too, you know, whatever. Um, but also, you know, don't put all your eggs in one basket and, you know, I think it's important to get an education because, you know, you can't play soccer forever. So, um, you know, just finding that good balance and so you don't get burned out too early. And, but, you know, if you want something, go after it and, you know, just work hard and, you know, something good will come out of it. So. Mm -hmm. Well, big game it is indeed. 60,000 tickets reportedly have been sold for Casey Keller's last home game. Uh, how, speci how special is Casey Keller? Uh, I mean, I think you just see each and every game how unbelievable he is. And I think, 
you know, a lot of people would say he could play a couple more years because um, he's just, he's so good. He's a really good leader, great guy in the locker room. Um, you know, I remember, you know, when I first got drafted, and he was one of the few names that had already been, been signed. It was just kind of like, you know, wow, I'm really going to be playing with this guy and, you know, just having gotten to know him over the last couple of years, um, you know, I'm glad. I'm glad I was able to do that because he is, uh, he's just a great guy all around. Well, you're personally having a big year, proving your worth on the field. Your salary is on the lower end of MLS, and, and the player that subbed on for you last game makes three times what you do. Uh, any resentment against that player, and are you and your agent in talks to get a raise next season? And if so, how are those talks going? Um, no, I don't think there's any resentment at all. You know, I, I came in, and you know, I kind of came in at the lower end of the totem pole, and you know, I was able to chip away and kind of work my way up, and you know, that's just the reality. I mean, you know, whatever happens, uh, you know, I just think that all you can do is, is focus on, you know, playing well. And if you're playing well, then, you know, usually that other stuff takes care of itself. So, um, you know, that's what I'm going to do, and, you know, we'll see what happens.